So you guys have been learning about decimals and dividing, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. So we are going to do some dividing with decimals and we're gonna do adding the zero at the end of your dividend so that you can divide it all the way down and you're not gonna have a remainder. And um, I'll show you what, how to do that in a second. And you guys can go ahead and open up your little workbooks to page 447. Yep. 
So then you're going to put your 1 there. 4 times 1 is 4. And subtract. And that's 2. And then this is where something new comes into play today. So 4 doesn't go into 2. But you can add a 0 onto here, and it doesn't change it's equivalent to 176.6. If you add a zero, it doesn't change the amount. So then once you have your zero here, then you can drop it down to here, and then four goes into 20 how many times? Yes? Yep, good job. And then if you take five times four, just 20, subtract it, and it's zero. <coughs> Does that make sense with this dropping the zero down? Yeah? Okay. All right, we're gonna do another one. You can go ahead and write on um, D, you can go ahead and write um, 44.15 ounces, because that's gonna be how much each cantaloupe would weigh. Can anybody tell me what our division problem would be for number two? Yep. You can write it like this or you can write it um, with the division bar. Um, okay, so now we're going to rewrite the problem so that the divisor is a whole number. And to do this, we're going to have to multiply each number by 10. And then that will give us a whole number. So 78 times 10 is 780 divided by 31.2 times 10 is 312. So that it should be just like this. sense to everybody when you get a whole number you have to um, multiply it by a number to both sides that way you have them equal does that make sense okay then 312 goes into 780 does anybody know how many times yep yep two times and then that would be And then here, can I bring it over? One here. So then this doesn't go in evenly, obviously. 
because you can't take 312 away from 156. So that's where we're going to do our add our zero. So if you add a zero here, it doesn't change the amount. So then you're going to take your zero, you're going to drop it down here. Now, does anybody know how much, how much um, 312 goes into 1,560? Yep. Nope. Nope. Not quite. Anybody else? Yep. Yep. Five times. So then since we have our decimal point here, that means we have to bring it all the way up here. And then that goes in evenly. And you get zero. Does that make sense to everybody? This one is kind of a bigger problem. Okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and um, do the last part. And for this last part, you guys can group up with a partner. Um, you will see on number two that it has a decimal for both of them. So you're not going to have a whole number. And I'm going to show you how to do that. That way we aren't confused when we get to that point. So the problem is 27. divided by 0.5. So here you have a decimal and a decimal. Does anybody know what we do when we have two decimals and we're dividing? This should be, yeah, right there. Okay. Yep. We have to do, we have to multiply to get so that our decimal here so it's going to look like this. This is going to be our problem. So what we what we can do is we can just take our decimal and we can move it right there. So then that's a five. But whatever we do here, we have to do on this one too. So then we're going to take our decimal and we're just going to move it over one place. So here, if we moved it over three times, then here we would have to move our decimal over three times. Or for this problem, you can take 0.5 times 10, which is going to be your 5. And then you can also take 27.78 times 10. And then that'll also just move your decimal point over. Does that make sense? You guys can go with a partner, and you can turn around the room. And I'll pass out some starbursts to everybody for your work.
there's somebody sitting here too. extra zero you can put an extra zero at the end because it doesn't change the amount so at the end of your yep right there yep yep good job yeah see you know how to do it Thank you. 
by 3.75. So you're going to have your um, 3.75 on the outside of your bar. Um, yeah, your 3.75 your three is going to be right there. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because this number is always going to be, if that's your divisor, so that's what it's always going to be divided by. And then this is your dividend. Those are kind of some big words, but that's going to be what your um, number is going to be divided by. So it's going to be split into 375 each. Yeah. So it's like if you had 318 apples and you wanted to put them into categories of 300 or 3.75, that's how you're going to group them. Okay? Thank you. 
So here you're going to do the same thing. You have a decimal, so you're going to move it over. Yeah. 
Skip it number three. Do you want me to help you on number three? You want to skip it? Okay. Oh, okay. That one can be a big one. Do you guys want to need help on number four? Do you guys understand it? Okay. Make sure if you're pushing your decimal point over, you do the same thing on your other number. Whatever you do on one, you have to do to the other. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. I'll 
don't look back here. Don't forget, guys, to move your decimal one time. Yep, so do you got that? Okay. 35. So it'll just be five. Okay. Okay. So did you see that, Kristen? So you've got to stop what you're doing here. Because it's going to be six times eight. Should go in evenly. Forty-eight, yep. Thank you. 
Nice job. Good work. Okay, what are you supposed to do in your demo? Which one are we on? That one? Oh, did you do the one on the next switch with the apples? We're supposed to do that one. I don't really know, but we're okay, just going with the apples. apples that way. Point so go ahead and read that problem. The I, was have, I was having them move. Five, 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 five,
Whatever your pound is, so 1.5 divided by 0.2. So your 1.5 is going to be in your so division is bar. Much? So 2 is too much. Right? Oh, flip your numbers around. Control. 1, yes. So it's going to go in there one time. Yeah. Oh, are you doing number 5 or number 6? Both of them? Well, do one at a time. So do number five first because they're not they're not together so you'll then you'll have your yep make sure you do that with your two also your decimal point Yep. So make sure. Did you bring your decimal point over? So it should be seven point five. Nope. It should be seven point five because you moved it over. Yeah. Seven point five. Yeah, 7.5 apples. <laughs> yep. And then six. Thank you. 
to put your Awesome. 